Hello, everyone. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't seem to be working. People telling me to dress up and stuff for videos. So, but anyway, and I was just in the garden. Okay, I mean, hello. So what? I have to go and dress up for you guys. I'm not gonna do that. All right. Okay. <laughs> so call me slovenly or whatever. I'm good with that. Uh, so. Is it really that difficult for people to want some kind of a change? Something different? I'm not getting it. And so I'm trying to say, so, okay, well, what can we do different? With, all right, again, the guns, whatever else is happening, you know, with the after the virus and after, oh dear me, you know, the elections and the, I don't know what else. And I, I look at my family and somehow preparations, uh, preparations in the, in the realm of restoration, when it comes to your own family, if, when it comes to just things around you, you know, what, what you really want to dedicate your life to seems to work. In my family, it has. I mean, my all of my four children are not on unemployment. They're not, and they're not all college students or college uh, uh, graduates. And they're they're doing great. Everybody seems to have gotten the raise that they need to make up for the high gas prices. This, okay. All right. I mean, it's like, okay. So who do we depend on? Who, who do we act, again, who do you trust to be a part of your life? And uh, it seems like you run into these blockheads that just what what do you want next you know to make sure that your surroundings are are safe i brought up to one brother said okay so you got a point with you know whatever you know everybody armed theirself and this and that and okay well that'll scare off whatever and and i'm going well then why didn't God just give Abel the bigger rock than what Cain had to kill him with? And then Moses, well, he wasn't told, well, you need to stick it out there and you need to arm all the all the slaves and this nad of your people, God's people, and you need to duke it out with the Egyptians. Now I said, take them, take them away. Take them away. The long way. There's a much shorter way to Canaan, by the way, but didn't take that route. Probably to strengthen the people of God. Then when they got to where they were going, then what he says, let's just go and circumcise them all, right? And they'll be weak enough you can actually enter the you know, capital and you won't have to have no fight. And you're going to be there and taking care of them. And then you kind of integrate and then there you are. Right? Don't hear a whole lot about what happened in Canaan after that. I don't think they killed everyone. Yeah, did the Israelites just go and kill everybody there? Well, that wouldn't be right either. What did they, what did they do to them? Women and children? Well, anyway, I'm just saying, right? Jesus, oh, Jesus had all these powers, God Almighty. I mean, if you're the true son of God, he probably could have just snapped his fingers and, well, there you go. All your weapons are gone now. What are you going to do now? Come at me. I'm going to use my martial arts on you. <laughs> that didn't happen that way either. I guess really when it comes down to it, if you are a person of God, if you are in the army of God, you're going to have to just use your hands for something better than to want to kill another human being. And if there are others out there that are going to get to you or get to your children, this, that, then, you're, then we just haven't 
been able to teach everybody that. That's not kind of the bottom line. It's not kind of what God, Jesus, has been trying to tell us. If you really truly want to be strong, you're going to have to ha use your hands and your body and your heart to mind to just produce good. You don't get to break any of my commandments. We're dealing with so many different things huh? in each in their families that are, you know, you wish, you, you know, what, what could have prevented this? What, what wasn't there that you know, kept pain and suffering out of our family? I'm not talking about growing old and your body kind of disintegrates or does whatever. That's just a part of it. I find still the best thing when it comes to that is offer you. When you get older and you're just, ah, my hands, ah, my hips, ah, my this, ah, my that. You just offer it for a child out there to uh, suffer less. Yeah. Isn't it? Isn't it the just most devastating, heartbreaking thing to see a, a little child suffer in the hospital? Having to be resuscitated with, you know, then have broken ribs. Made it, made it. And uh, parents, say, oh, this was the worst day of our life, kind of thing. The child's alive. Then the child, huh, as young as five years old, in that particular case, has to go through all that healing process with, it's just, oh, just. I don't see how we just can't turn our weapons into plowshares. I think if you go and look through history and read up on history with all the wars on all the different continents, on how they caused famines, food shortages, sickness, because who wasn't there to do the work? just to have enough food. Yeah, but there were times where the nature, has nature really ever interfered enough in that where it couldn't be done anymore? Or was it always something that kind of, right, we did as well, that contributed to greater suffering? I don't know. One little area, right? little areas that people could work together. Right? And uh, one of them is, okay, so having had enough arguments with everyone, get to the point, why do you need a gun? Why do you really need a gun? Will it be worth it? I guess people have to answer that to themselves. And again, we have the examples. If you are a believer in God, in the Bible, we have the examples where we are being taught, supposedly by the best. We still want to do things our own way. Well, then we do. Then we do. Well, have to keep teaching anyway, right? That's... Meantime, these hands got to keep growing things. Giving things, not taking things, not taking lives. I like to be together with my family in spirit world. You can't do that if you're taking another person's life. 
that's just the way it is. That's all I have to say today and share today. God's love and blessings always. And I will talk to you all another time.